Hello Aries, how are you doing? Welcome into your weekend reading, which is from the 23rd until the 24th of October. Once again, we are facing the end of another month. It looks like I'll be soon saying the end of the year. So let's get into this reading. We are going to look at what is going on between you and another person, um, whomever this may be, whatever comes through here. Um, remember, because it's a general reading, uh, I can resonate with you. It may not. It may. If it does, fantastic. If it doesn't, check your rising, your moon, and your Venus as well. Um, what else? Uh, do take what resonates, though, because every reading you are called in to watch, you have got a message there in that reading. We are also going to see what is going to happen next. So we're going to see what's going on between your person and you, and then we're going to see what is going to happen next between the two of you. And as usual, I am calling in your spirit guides with these herbs that I'm burning, and I'm going to ask them um, during the stage of the reading to kind of give us some advice as we are going going on. So the first, this, this side will be your person's energy, and then this side I'm going to put yours. But remember, you can reverse that because it's a general reading, not a personal reading. Let's see in your person's energy. Conclusions are within reach. This card this week. I'm using this deck because it's full moon in Aries on Wednesday. So it's a time of me recording all these readings and um, I'm using the moon energy. This card is my stalker card this week. And if it is in your person's energy, it's like something they're going to figure out or something is going to occur um, that gives them an answer to some kind of question or problem that they may be having. So let's see what comes up. Okay, I saw that one. I saw that one. Luck is on your side. Woo, is this on your side? I'm just saying. New moon in Sagittarius and that's full moon eclipse energy. Luck is on your side. Could you possibly, possibly, maybe, I'm just saying, be hearing from somebody and that might be a surprise, which is really good for this to happen now because we just came out of Mercury retrograde on the 18th of October. So if you're interested or you want to hear from somebody, maybe that you've or somebody from your past, or somebody you're not connecting with anymore, there could be a good good news coming in here. Let's see what is going on in your person's energy. Remember, it does say conclusions are within reach, but conclusions have not yet been found. So there may be some kind of confusion still in their energy now, and we are going to see what's going on with you and with them, and get in there and ask our spirit guides to kind of show us more. So let's see, you're going to get a message. What a straightforward reading. Look at this, you're going to get a message. Um, that's page, page of inspiration. You are going to get a message. Conclusions are within reach. I even said over here, um, are you maybe going to hear from somebody? And this card literally means an important message that means something to you that comes through usually over the internet, like something like WhatsApp, Messenger, something of that sort. Phone call, you know, that kind of thing. So let's see. Four of inspiration. Yeah, they're going to do something. Um, this person is thinking about you. And they're thinking about messaging you because of the four of inspiration being here in the reverse position. It usually indicates that uh, the way things are right now in their world, they're not happy about it. So they need to take some kind of action here to change this, to get this card to turn up into the four, four of wands energy in the upright position. Because in the reverse position, it literally means situations and circumstances in their world is not what they want it to be. So they need to take some action, such as reaching out to you to change this. And this is also known as the 1111 card, which is another card that um, means somebody needs to have motivation. Okay. And at the same time, it's a new beginning. Another card, it also means success as well, the 1111. So if you're seeing a lot of 1111 coming up in your world, that's a very good sign of a new cycle in your life beginning. So let's see on your side. Ooh, Ace of Cups. Yeah, you're definitely going to hear from this person. And the King of Voices being over there. I um. It's interesting what's coming up with the King of Voices, which in the or the King of Swords in this deck, it's the Muse of Voices. Um, you're definitely, without a doubt, going to hear from this person because you've got a page of uh, inspiration and the Ace of Emotion. I kind of feel like this is them coming in towards you and what they're going to express to you. Um, you're also guarded at the same time because this is the King of Swords. So the King of Swords sits on the throne holding a sword. So you feeling like, wow, I can't believe this person has like come back and they're here and this is it and yeah they've shown up in my world you know and at the same time I kind of feel like you're also a little bit weary um, 
as to what is about to occur. It's all, it's all good. I mean, we all get this message coming in. Oh, you're going to hear from them. And everybody's like, yay, I'm going to hear from them. Let me make space with these cards. Let me move them a bit down so we can see them nicely. Um, it's like, yay, we can. somebody contacted us and I'm so glad they, they reached out. I'm so happy to hear from them. I've been waiting for a long time to hear from them. I thought maybe I would never hear from them. And then... What then? What happens after you hear from them? And uh, let's see what, our, what your spirit guides and my spirit guides have got to say with regards to what they're feeling and also possibly what can be happening with you as well. Let's have a look and see what cards will come up here. Let's see deeper energies. Let's see deeper within, please. Spirit guides, let's have a look and see. Yeah, they, they're literally straightforward. <laughs> straightforward. They're coming in here again. There's not, there's no, nothing else I can give in this, um, this reading. This is it. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Page of Inspiration. This person is without a doubt coming back into your world and they want to make this, they want to connect with you. They want to be successful in what they're trying to do with the Ace of Swords being there. That's a card of wanting to be victorious over any situation. How interesting is this? Let's see by your side. Let's see if there's any, Anything you should be aware of. Because I noticed with the, the King of Voices being there, it's a card of, I feel you're a little bit torn. That's how I'm feeling. Because this is a very positive energy. And it does say luck is on your side. But there's a deeper element here. And I want to see what's under this card. Because I kind of feel like, there's more here going on than just you being happy. There's also feelings of maybe you, like, hey, is it going to be okay? Should I maybe protect myself? Is everything going to turn out the way I want it to turn out? Because you're still holding, like I said, the sword. And it's also, and there's the sword as well, you see. And um, you may be a little bit in, unsure about what to do or what, what's coming next. So let's see. Maybe Spirit Cards will show us something. That's definitely what I was feeling. This is a breakup. This is something where you and this person uh, are no longer together. Or you just had a, you pulled away from each other. Somebody got like maybe left out in the cold kind of vibe, um, pushed aside kind of feeling. And with this energy coming through here, yeah, I think this is the deeper level that I was just picking up on. You may be concerned that it's just going to end up in the same, end up the same way it did before. And you end up getting hurt or you end up... Um, that feeling of being alone again, you know, that is a bit of a worry, especially when, I mean, we have been with somebody and they come back in and say, let's make this work. Let's, it's me. Hi, you know, and you know how, how hurt you were from before. Nobody has like a breakup or anything and then, or separates from somebody that they gave their heart to and they're not hurt. So when they come in again, there is this lower fear here even of them hurting you again you know what i mean and that is that five of pentacles and that is what the king of swords at the bottom is afraid of male or female energy so now i want to actually look at what is going to happen what will happen here so let's see are we going to get a sacred traveler out and have a look because it's the journey that you guys are going to be taking if you do come back together let's have a look you see you don't know oh you don't know you're in the dark, literally, navigating by the stars. Follow your bliss. And that means it's this energy. It's literally you, um, you're going to follow your heart. Maybe they're following their heart as well or their feeling as well to come towards you. But navigating by the stars literally means you're in the dark and you don't have much to go by. I mean, this card doesn't remind me of today's times when we've got GPRS, you know, we're on the highway, it's all lighted up, we can see where we're going, it's like it's daytime, you know what I mean? When you're traveling alone and you're in the dark, in the olden days, we never had this kind of things and we had to kind of feel our way around it. But I think they were pretty good at it though. You know, they used to check the stars and know where they were going. But the thing is, yeah, um, you are gonna end up just following your feelings and head for something that you don't even know where this is going. You know what I mean? So let's have a look and see. Let's get some cards out here that's going to show possibly what can happen between you and them. So let's see some energy spirit guides. Well, one card just said hello. Okay, even this one. It's like kind of lifted up like that and I noticed it. So let's see what fell out here. Let's turn this one first. Mm, eight, of, so eight of cups coming in here. Moving on. What moving on from what situation? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Nice energy coming. Don't panic. The Eight of Cups means many different things. It depends what's going on around it as well. 
what lies under the eight of cups is giving and receiving which is six of pentacles can i get a hallelujah thank you you're moving on from the place that you're in right now something is about to change um i feel like you guys haven't been in communication with each other i feel like no communication you're going to hear from them and um that's what you're leaving behind that's what you're moving on for on from because this person is kind of like walking alone over there i feel like you guys are not together you're not in contact with each other and if they come in here it's literally going to be a shift in your guys connection to this giving and receiving so from being alone now look at all the hands that come in here two of yours and two of theirs kind of like you know what i mean even though it's not like that because it's two hands two hands but you know what i mean and um this is a very excellent card to come up in this reading because six of pentacles is literally that giving and receiving it is two people that are putting in equal amounts of effort so one person's not doing all the work two people are doing the work to make a relationship work and at the same time what i like about it it's another energy of the six of pentacles it's somebody who actually wants to come in and do the right thing Thank you. You know what I mean? That's, that's, you know, that's what we want. You know what I mean? Can we just have somebody coming in here doing what is right, doing the right thing towards you? So let's see. Let's get some spirit guide advice here. Um, again, as we leave this reading, Ooh, the cards today for you, Aries, they're just like jumping out. It must be your full moon that happened on Wednesday. It's gotta be, it's gotta be your, that energy of the, the Aries energy. Like the, let's go do this. Let's get this done. So let's see devil energy guys are reconnecting capricorns card as well let's see what else comes up here and a new beginning there you go i knew um you guys are definitely reconnecting without a doubt this is a connection that you have with this person the devil energy you know you actually see this like cord that is between these two people and this is kind of like what's going on between the two of you it's what's bringing you back together and the devil energy as well it talks about a new feeling, a new beginning as well, because there you got the moving on energy, and yeah, you got the full card. There you go. And this connection between you and them, it's it's pretty like an intense vibe that I pick up here, like a passionate connection, like attraction towards each other, and this feeling like everything's going to be okay, everything's going to be fine, even though the full card is here in the reverse position, and this is a risk that you're taking. Um, that's because of these two energies here. It is a risk that you're taking, but you're going to go ahead and do it anyway because you want to be able to maybe have a second chance with this person or your feelings, you still have got feelings for them. So there you go. You're kind of like in that energy of being wanting to be with them. Um, I do, I'm going to turn the decks for you a little bit here. You've got a two of pentacles in this deck, which means you may, you might have been waiting for them to come back in. You might have been waiting for them to come again. And the last one, I just turned unbelievable. Without a doubt, you're getting a message from this person. Page of Wands, Page of Wands is the last card that I'm turning. The energy is under the deck. It's like you, all both of you, are kind of like holding on to each other still. Waiting to make a decision to make a move. And there it comes again. The Page of Wands, the same energy that's coming through throughout the entire reading you're going to get a message from them. There we go. Thank you so much for coming in. I'm really wishing you the best as you go forward. Um, uh, whenever I kind of see this kind of energy, especially because I feel like a lot of it's coming from their side, allow them to be the one to reach out. Don't uh, push the energy by trying to reach out to them or you can put it out of balance. Allow everything to unfold in the way it's meant to be. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.